The West Kelowna Warriors and the Cranbrook Bucks met up on Friday night with the Warriors and the Bucks uh, meeting for the first of six times this season. A low-scoring affair that started off with a great chance for Felix Caron, short-handed as Caron made his way through the middle of the ice, went to the backhand to try and beat Carter Captain, but Captain did a good job to keep that puck out and keep the game scoreless at that time. Captain was terrific in this hockey game. Uh, he was made, he made 11 first-period saves, including that one on Isaiah Norland with that terrific opportunity in front. And another great chance there down the right side as the shot was blocked in front before Norland tried to get the, the shot away from the left side and had his stick break and abandon him as he was unable to make that play. Cranbrook was able to get the first goal of the hockey game, and it came from Noah Ernest. Ernest got the marker that gave the Bucs a 1-0 lead uh, to pick up the marker uh, for Ernest to give the Bucs a 1-0 advantage in the opening period. That goal came at 13:07, uh, where he was able to pick up that marker. Cranbrook again, that was Ernest again, who had a strong hockey game tonight. He tried to make his way down the left side, could not do so. A lot of shorthanded opportunities for the Warriors, and they hit the post on one of these attempts as well. Jack Pridham down the left side, working in with a shot that went off the blocker side post and kept out. Another terrific opportunity in front toward the end of the period for Caden Kim Karen Humble, who just had that puck skip over his stick. Second period action saw another terrific chance for Felix Caron at the front of the net. Caron tried to make his way there to the right face-off circle and just had that chance denied. Cranbrook with a great opportunity of their own, but Trey Osmus, a sliding defensive play to come across and deny that, that pass from coming down low. Osmus was terrific on the defensive side all night long. The Warriors again, some other opportunities as the period ran along. Captain again outstanding in this hockey game. He was able to make seven of eight saves in the second period. Cranbrook was the better team in the middle frame, putting on 11 shots on Rorick Appleby, but the Warriors' 20-year-old goaltender stood tall and was able to keep the puck out of his net in the middle stanza and keep the game one to nothing. But the Bucs tried their best with a couple of good looks and opportunities. That opportunity came from Bryce Sucro from the right side, put the puck to the front of the net, redirected on, and Appleby sliding to his blocker side to keep that one out. The Bucs continued to press in the second period and pushed pucks toward the front of the net. Appleby again standing tall in his goal. West Kelowna with some good looks as well, but Carter captain there to make the saves necessary before the Warriors were able to tie the game late in the second period with 20 seconds to go in the frame. Michael Salandra, a long shot from the blue line, and it's Brennan Nelson who tips the puck home. The Warrior captain picks up his first goal of the season. 20 seconds to go in the period. Michael Salandra and Isaiah Norland draw the assists on the goal by, by Nelson, and that gave the uh, Warriors some life late in the second period, tied the game 1-1 as they started the third with plenty of opportunities as well and started with a spark with a jump and uh, it was Johannes Lockberg right at the front of the net who had a terrific opportunity on the blocker side in tight but again captain there to make that stop. Another good look for the Warriors in tight. That was Cal Hughes from the right faceoff circle and a feed from Jack Pridham. Captain once more there to stand tall. He made a good save on LA Compton down low as well before it is Cranbrook who takes the lead with the goal uh, for the Bucks coming early into the third period. And uh, it was a marker off the stick of Oscar Setterfist who was able to get this puck in front on a rebound. A great little tip in front by Noah Ernest on a Patrick uh, uh, Patrick uh, Zarnicki shot from the blue line and it was again put in by Sederkis so a 2-1 Cranbrook lead down to the last stages of the third Dylan Brooks did a good job to keep that puck out Blake Cotton went in alone to try and extend the lead to two but a good save by Rorick Appleby after a delayed penalty coming to West Kelowna there was plenty of penalties towards the end of the third period of this game as the tempers flare between the Warriors and the Bucks finishing off on special teams Appleby had to be strong with the flailing or with the uh, flurry of penalties towards the end of the hockey game, but he was able to keep the puck out. But unfortunately for the Warriors, they fall th two to one the final score on this Friday night as the Bucks defeat the West Kelowna Warriors.